Bloody Bruce. Reset the volume here and there. It was lousy production values. They had volume issues. They loud, loud and then soft. So I tried to even it out. Well, I think uh, I think I've got enough now to do a feature story on the customs office, Hector. But uh, before I go, there is one thing I'd like. Uh, do you have a recent case? A case, say, in the last year or two that might be of interest to the feature story along with the article? Well, um, there's something a little, uh, you know, with a lot of excitement. You know how it's are. Well, the dance hall racket might interest you. Dance hall racket. Sounds like an interesting story, but uh, I see how it ties up with customs long story. If you've got the time, I can, uh... Well, I've got the time. Can I hear the story? Helen, bring me in the dance hall racket. So it's basically a joke. It's a long joke by Lenny Bruce. It goes on for about 56 minutes. He can't be blamed for the edit cuts that were subsequently made. There's missing video in this. Looks like it got censored. There's the Danish guy, or wherever he's from. The comedic. That's a Louis Prima knockoff. He also had a blonde singer type. Thank you, ladies singer, and gentlemen. Louis it's time Prima. now for a little intermission. This is funny. I have a little announcement to make. The Siemens dance will be held next Friday night, and all merchant seamen with papers will be able to buy the their Navy tickets at that price. Goes to this Mr. Dance Stanley hall. wants you should enjoy yourselves and bring all the friends you have. Wait for the punchline. Go get a drink. The bar needs the money. The bar needs the money. <laughs> they thought it was funny too. They're like, Lenny Bruce wrote this. It's not Edward Jr. It sucks. This is rich man's. There's uh, John Candy, the original John Candy. It's like, I'd like to have a drink too. Lenny with the atmospheric combo moving throughout the film. There's the cheesy, that's Guy Caballero. What are you turning so fast for? You know I read slow. There's nothing to read, stupid. They're just pictures. Go ahead. I'm going. Curly, Max. Very funny guy. Crazy Very crazy. funny guy. I buy the Playboy for the articles. That joke. The stereotypical drunk stealing himself. So. Basically, if you don't want any spoilers, then don't watch. I'm not going to try to spoil it. I'll try to not spoil it. Well, how'd you like to take a trip, baby? A trip? Sounds good. Where to? Hawaii, of course. Hawaii? Hawaii. A trip to Hawaii. Yeah, hey, Jack, this guy wants to take a trip. To Hawaii? The Hawaii's a plant. Hey, babe, what's going on? What gives with this Hawaii bit? This is so when funny. When a girl kisses a guy, she likes a little privacy. That's why the palm tree's there. Oh, why do they call it going to Hawaii? What a palm tree's in mind, you stupid. Oh, I get it. <laughs> palm trees, Hawaii. Oh, <laughs> what a brain. What a brain. What a brain. What so a trip. What a trip. Hey, boy, I mean, that's funny I stuff. Hey, boss. There's a guy out here to see you. Not a guy, Ice Pick. A gentleman. Show him in. A gentleman. So there are themes to this. That I layer. I for you this time, Mr. Scully. Yeah? Where are they? Where else? The hearing aids. <laughs> You'd never get past the customs. That's the first place they'd frisk. It's I had them glued underneath the dog's ear. Hey, that's pretty shrewd. That's what they call a man's best friend. Hey, there. The dance hall's a right front here, huh? to it. 
Lenny, these are exquisite. Lenny Bruce's mom is in this. Lenny grew up dough. around chicks, I think. Burlesque. Yeah, They want it. They're they're you ambitious gangsters. They want to become hey, respectful. Hey, wait a minute. This is only five grand. Oh, you want it? You don't want it. I want it. That's it. The knife. He's got one weapon. The knife. That's funny. That's pretty sure. So yeah. Lenny Bruce. Rose. Lenny Bruce is like me? the knife will be the whole. That this is that just funny. It's crazy about you. I don't even know the guy. That's you when he's you know. uh, the ex-wife in real life. I to have a drink with him. Well, his wife back then. He has a drink. A real good drink. Oh, please. Not that Mickey routine. The, Indian the Mickey shtick. What are you bothering? What are you always bothering him for? Yes, you do something, do it. What are you bothering? What are you bothering? What a creep. So that's funny. There's, it's supposed to be a dog. serious hey, film noir, Parker, but it's a satire. Take care of the dog for me. Oh, sure. I'd be glad to come. I'd be a glad to take care of the puppy. Oh, a palm tree. That's Hawaii. Ah, the brain's oh, on you. Oh, I'd love one, but can I sit down for it? Sure. What do that's you funny have? stuff. Bartender. <laughs> Eleven years in the can. Victor Pappas, public enemy number three, ten years ago was released today from the federal penitentiary after serving 11 years of a 10 to life sentence. To this day, the quarter of a million in gold bullion involved in the original crime has not been recovered. Police officials doubt the gold can be recovered, pointing out that should the gold be found by Pappas, the insurance company would have the first claim. A quarter of a million in gold, and this guy used to be a partner. Hey, I'd sure like to meet this guy. You'll have your chance, Vincent. Giving a little party for him tomorrow night. A party? Oh, you talked to him already. Pretty shrewd. That's right, Vincent. Say, uh, isn't it about time you made your rounds? Yeah, I almost forgot. You know, for a while I thought you were different from the rest of these crumbs, but you're not. You're all the same. Unexpected outcome. Hey, that's a pretty sharp dress. You that's his mom. <laughs> I'm a riot, huh? It's Lenny! I'm a uh, funny guy, ain't I? Huh? I'll give you something to show. Sorry, I talked a little bit. The knife. <laughs> Just kills him in front of everyone. What's up, boss? Go get Scally. Drunk again, huh, doggy? This fella never could hold his liquor. <laughs> but I never thought he would pass out with a slick chick like you. Look, hey, get out of here, okay? So they turn the... He's loaded, you know, he's gonna get back to the ship okay. He had too much to drink, you It's know? a scare. Okay, well, I already took the dog home. But listen, don't forget the boat sails at 7.30 tomorrow morning, so get him down there on the dock early, because the captain don't wait on nobody. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. What's the trouble, Vincent? He killed him. Just like that. What's the matter with you? Couldn't you wait till you get him someplace besides a crowded... besides a crowded dance hall? Don't worry. No one's gonna find out nothing. Look, we just caught him down the back steps. Yeah. Drop him in the brineys. Another guy got bumped. That's all. It's easy. You help him. Make sure nobody wises up the guy's dead. Afterwards, I want to see all three of you in my office. Seems serious, doesn't it? Oh, this is the best scene of all. Fortuna, baby. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I'd have arranged a little, a little something. Some entertainment, perhaps. Deference going like on me, there. Like me, from the old lady's throat. Baby, Vincent's all right. She's ice. She's the, the ice cold. Know, you're dead. But that's beside the point. Where have you been? I've been waiting for five minutes, and you know I don't like to wait up here. She doesn't like being called there baby, a trouble. either. Vinny, as usual. When are you going to get rid of that underdeveloped ape? Vinny, the underdeveloped But let's not talk about him. What shall we talk about? The last PTA meeting you attended? What do you say things like that for? <laughs> you know what irritates me. He hates me. that. I they want to be respectable. Don't play Here with me. Here comes a ten-second kiss. Look, baby. Breaking the I code. Let's get married. Married? Oh, how sweet. 
Mrs. Alberto Scali and her new groom will honeymoon in the groom's vine-covered cell. Look, baby. Don't call me baby and let go of my arm. Alberto, That'll come back again. She'll say something about I don't you know, like being called baby. Making love with you and... And he apologizes. Well, how would it look for me to be married to a... Well, how would you describe yourself? A hoodlum? A racketeer? Gangster? Look, I got something big on tap now. Remember my telling you about Victor Pappas? I hate Pappas, to spoil it, but watch her change her tune. You mean the, uh, gentleman who... Then watch his, time in the how that attention. murder was a few minutes time, ago baby. didn't even Let's mean anything. Me. Sorry. Anyway, he got it's out It's a comedy. Day. It's a parody so of party film party wars. So? It's a parody so of society. He's got a quarter of a million bucks hidden away. Hypocrisy. I'm the boy that's gonna find out where. Two hundred and fifty. million Nothing means anything. Status. It'll be oh, yeah, his ex-partner has that money. He's coming out well, of prison. Well, not bad for a starter. Perhaps my little dove has the possibilities of a big time after all. Could I have misjudged you? I got a hundred grand worth of stuff stashed away, too. Just a starter. This place will bring me that much a year without even coming near it. Perhaps things will work out after all, darling. And they kept one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, illegal, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. That's illegal. I better leave now, darling. The he, kisses uh, weren't supposed to. Junior League needs me. As much as I need you, baby? I'm afraid so. And this is where she got mad about the baby. Vincent. Look how short they are compared to him. I'm short, so I can say that. So Lenny Bruce is probably what, like five seven? I don't know what he was. And so Ice Pick must Three be like Three smart cookies. Three smart What's cookies. What's the matter with you? Why do you think I sent Rose to give the guy a Mickey? I didn't want him killed. Look, a thing like this gets out. I buy the guy's stuff, then have him knocked off. Who's gonna want it? First thing you know, nobody wants to sell me anything anymore. That's so funny. Come on. Which reminds me. How is this not underrated for a film? No one's gonna come around. If the word, think about it. They're not the nobody business. You say nobody saw you. Are you sure? I guess nobody saw him, boss. I was right there and I didn't see him. Okay, but let's come up. But Why next time. Hey, boss. Maxine needs you up front. Okay. I speak, you come with me. Vinny, you and Rose stay here till I get back. I could spoil something, but I won't. Someone needs to remaster this film. It's so brilliant. Big deal. I killed a guy. This makes me a criminal. What are you telling me for? Why don't you tell Scally? And right, she agreed with it. She is sarcastic. You don't act like a guy's girl at all. I'm not anybody's girl until I know they can take care of me. Ah, you've been doing okay so far. What? With a ring that has so many flaws that Scally wouldn't even want us? This is a comedy. And a man for a coat that Maxine wouldn't wear? I don't know. I could have a lot of other chicks if I wanted them. So why don't you? Then maybe you'd leave me alone. Because I don't want any other chicks, Rose. I want you, baby. <laughs> It's so funny. I think it's funny. I like you, Vinny. I think you know that, but mm -hmm. I don't want to wind up like, so like the that with Vinny Maxine. We used to be Scally's friends. Pressure on these guys. Scally and Vinny. Scally and Vinny. I don't want to wind up like that, Vinny. Look, I'm not going to stand so all racket. I got a lot of big plans. What? I'm thinking all the time. And if everything works all right, baby, all the time. Okay, break it up. Break it up, you Come two. Come back to work. And Vinny, watch that temper of yours. Watch that. Okay, boys. All right, boss. I'll try not to do that the next time. And he's like, just watch your temper. And he's like, ah, the diamonds. The free diamonds. The dramatic music. How much more of this lousy movie do I have to... First, you've always found on the body. The stupid One detective diamond, part. Slightly used. 
Two tickets to a place called Scally Stance Emporium. Scally Stance Emporium. Broken watch chain and last year's dog license. How about the seaman's body? Have you identified that yet? Does no, Eddie Haskell as the detective? Mm-hmm. Scally Stance Emporium. Sounds like a real pleasant place. He brought him in so from tell New me, York. He's been on our list for quite a while City. because most of the people that go there are seamen. As of yet, we've never been able to connect him with anything, but he used to be in the racket, so the odds are that he's still mixed up in this smuggling. Okay, I'll see what I can dig up. Uh, will I have a partner on this? No, this is strictly a customs job, and you're the only man we can spare. And frankly, it's a mystery. You're a lot of stupid film noirs back in the day. Came from New York. Mm, that's figures. When he must have been making fun of no family and highly noirs. expensive. You better not be seen around this office again. No, your next move is to uh, get some papers, dress as a seaman, and spend a lot of time at the dance hall. Make friends with everyone you meet there and keep your eyes open. Mm -hmm. As soon as you feel that you have to contact us, give me a buzz and we'll arrange a place that won't be too risky. Uh, how about expenses, Inspector? You know, expense account. Will all the cleaver be there want? too? All the ticket he said all the tickets you want for the bonus of it. I want the three tickets. Oh, if I was Lenny Bruce, then you're getting then quite a big spender. Yeah, I, I got miss. lucky at the races today. Yeah, what'd you do? Bet two cents to show? Well, she did me oh, wrong. Miss Rose. Well, she did Lenny wrong. Oh, Miss Rose. <laughs> that was funny though. All the tickets you want. He's like, are there any perks? Sure, it's quicker that way. The volume's so bad, it's tough not to ruin it by talking over them. And it reset the volume for a lot of this to make it even. Just remember, this is a comedy. And it got chopped up too. They're missing parts. The audio is lousy. It's the hot chick who undresses. The the new chick. The, you can see her butt. Is that a real butt? Wow, how they got away with that. Do the boys around here get fresh with you? They don't if they know what happened. What happened? We yelled for Bert. Who's Bird? You know, the dark confessed chap. Bird. Oh, it's uh, Bird it's or Bird. That was that guy I said to look it's for. Up. He came in for like the Maybe you haven't seen him in operation yet. Once I saw him take on four sailors all at once. What happened? He threw all four of them down the stairs. And brother, were they beaten the up. Stairs. What happened to Bird? He had to comb his hair. She's so sweet and innocent, this new woman. Oh, no, she's no, not really wearing much. There's Lenny's mom. Ah, oh, new girl, huh? Uh huh. What's your name? Donnie. She has her legs crossed very. What you want to get in this racket? Racket, well, see? Racket scam. Oh, stop. You're killing me. You're killing me because she said she was working. Well, at a they're working at a dime store. Oh, yes. She I said, know. all right, that well, sounds more like. Like Lenny's saying, that <laughs> sounds more I like a, a, a burlesque. So yeah, like he didn't edit the, he's making a joke that that's, he's not hiding that is this is fine? fake, that it's a cheesy. No, I got some money. Kid, you earn. Well, I just want to save up for vacation. Oh, you're talking. You're pretty smart. She looks like Lucille Ball. I came to the right place. I thought maybe I could go to night school. Night school, that's dumb. I tried that once. There's so nothing there. grew up around all this. Fellas don't even have pocket change. That's why he had the potty <laughs> mind. To a restaurant, asked me to have a cup of coffee. And he had I the free-spirited so mom. Anything in this restaurant but coffee? And you know something? He almost passed right out on the stool. That professor. He was kind of cute. I guess you've had a lot of experience. Experience, honey, I could write a book and someday I'm going to. You know something? I once had a fella give me a diamond ring and I never had to do anything for it. I didn't even have to kiss him. And he used to call me Angel. What a jerk. What a character he was. What a character what he was. The ring? the ring, I hocked it. 
And you know something else? I had my own home and put my own money down on it. So it's all about being cynical down. and everyone's corrupt. Listen, if you're smart, honey, you'll just save your money. And any time you get in trouble, you just call for Maxine here, and I'm going to tip you off to something. Don't bother with those young guys, because you're no novelty to them. What you have young to do guys. is the older men, see? And it's so nice talking to you, honey. Listen. The young guys won't be the sugar you daddy. Them, just call Maxine, and that's what they say about me. Boy, she's a good listener. <laughs> I guess that's what makes me a success around here. With the hands on her hips, like... This is all, this is pure cheat. The woman putting her hand into his coat. I don't think I've seen that before. She's like looking at it. Yeah, like, oh, it just, it's pretty cool. That guy with the cheesy smile. I'll just act, act as if you didn't see it. This is the, how I know. This is human nature. So that's how I'm able to identified to sinful shows. Hey, how about buying me a drink? Hey, I thought this they is so funny. Oh, no, no, I bought some more tickets. I bet I can make you buy me a drink. How much you bet? I bet you a dollar. All right. I tell you a story, and then I get through the story. If you don't buy me a drink, I owe you a drink, okay? Okay. He's a bartender who drinks on, a time, on the job. hunting lions deep in the heart of Africa. And about three o'clock in the afternoon, my guide was eaten up by a leopard. That's yeah. who Sam Cedar then was. about an hour later, I run into a nest of lions. Great big ones. Now one lion comes charging out of the brush. That was John Candy so in his previous life. Rifle, boom, I let him have it right between the eyes. Killed him, huh? No, no, but gave him a dick into the head. Well, then a little later, another lion comes <laughs> Sorry, out of the brush. It's funny. He's charging down. He's Again, telling his smart story. The rifle and no bullets. They got that bed. He's coming down. Get the charging drink. down on me. I reach out. I grab a big handful of yours. And I throw it and kill him dead. Wait a minute. Wait, that's. A handful of yours? Yeah, I reach out and grab a handful of yours. Yours? What's yours? Bourbon and soda. <laughs> oh, come on. So how is this movie? How is how can anyone pan this? It should have at least a, a rating of seven out of ten. Here, I'll do another, another ticket. Let's go to Hawaii. Go to Hawaii and get herpes. Oh, I love that tune. It sounded like Miles did. Not Miles. What are we coming in here I don't remember. We're gonna meet King Cut. Stupid or something. Tough guy, Lenny. You're a little mixed up. Maybe 20, 30 girls a day come here for jobs. You know, we get jobs, girls, big class model agencies. You're lucky I'm interviewing you. Let me see your legs. This is probably Come how they on, get let them me see to some legs. Just shells. Yeah, that's pretty with, sharp. Uh, Take your dress off. Not for sex. But like, I'm read the teleprompter. Show me how you can read that thing. What are you, stupid? What are you, thing? stupid? Do you think you're going to wear this out there? These guys, they come in, they're spending money to dance with a sharp-looking chick. He's a Take sleazy guy in this. Real nice here. Now, when he thinks he's good, treating her good. The whole salary goes. She's yeah, humi feeling humiliated. Hey, yeah, this is Yeah. Beautiful. This will get lots of tickets here. Yeah. But if you notice, he'll say yeah once. He won't say it every other day. What would you do? Come from the farm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who ever yeah, told you yeah, wear a strapless dress with a bezier? Take it off. You see these girls here? These girls start out here making could have seen this if it was a week. Cut. Today, maybe making five, seven hundred. What the hell you happened? Play? Wait a minute, business is scally. Look, don't maybe forget, we can I slow that tonight, down. Right? Was I fresh with you? See? Okay, get dressed. I didn't touch you, did I? I get, get 
clothes on. Wasn't I good to you? What's the matter with hey, what's you? What's wrong, honey? I came here for a guy gave me a bad time. Well, gee, that's tough. Yeah, and I need it too. It's a good job. I need this good job. I need this disinfo show job to pay for my drugs. Oh, I don't know, some curly haired guy. Oh, oh that's that Vinny. Don't pay any attention to him. Well, who do we pay attention to? The one to get nervous. Who's Bert? Bert. The dark guy, never says anything. The dark haired guy you saw once. You were having a bad time with us, could you help? Lesbian connotations from back in the day. There you are. Thanks, Mark. Look there you cute. go, sweetie. That looks cute on you. Time's up. More tickets. I guess Chicks I haven't funny. got any more tickets, so I guess I'll have to shove along. Well, what do you think? Do you think I'm... To dance for nothing? I gotta make you know. What, do you think I I can pay the rent, giving out free dances? I didn't let the drinks. There's been a drinky pool left on the table. Pizza, tablecloths. I used to have a shirt. That does not Ah, that did drink you, bro. Hey, Fine. buddy. Understand they call I'm you not a punch. fake cop. So, well, I'm not a call me Edson. And I'm, I'm not a drink? fake navy man. Sure. I'm not an undercover. I, know, I tell nothing to nothing. nobody. Well, nobody uh, buys me any whiskey unless they figure I got some information. And they just didn't want you buying me a drink and then afterwards saying that oh, it's Ryan Gosling. didn't tell you anything. Uh, what did you say you wanted? It's Nicholas Cage. Sorry, it's my, just got in off the Seattle Queen. No, not Nicholas oh, Cage. Seattle Queen. I didn't it's Rob Depp. Here this Rob, trip. Yeah, Michael Depp. Not six hours. Rob Depp. But it was a bum ship guy. and a lousy skipper. How do but I not I even know De Johnny out. Depp? Why should I stay on a ship? Yeah, that's right. Uh, never stay on a ship that got the bad captain. You know, especially you got money coming. Mm. Say, uh, they tell me the fellow that runs this place is a pretty easy guy to do business with. Mm, well, it looks like Charles Grodin, kind of but Grodin would have been a lot of you have in mind. Well, uh, if you don't mind, I'd rather talk to the boss about that. And that guy can't be Eddie Haskell. I'm not sure. You look familiar to me. I spit could be Danny video? DeVito. Yes. Oh, I remember. You're Edson. Yeah, Edson. Don't you remember? On the African-American run. I was Stewart. The oh, African-American yeah, right. run? Yeah, now I remember. They, um... What does that even they mean? They called you Ice Pick. Have a drink. Hey, well, We know Lenny was racist. That's the way you get a decent drink around here. You gotta order a special. Thanks for that information. So that might, must I knew have meant I saw something. you earlier this evening. I knew you from somewhere. What you been doing with yourself? Oh, just floating around from here to there. Darkish skin lady. The last she time looks I saw you was on the um, French Malay, 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 wasn't it? Yeah, Tahiti. that's right. Say, you know, it's a good thing you left the ship Ocean in the day. Yeah, why? Well, yeah. There's about four or five guys bringing stuff through customs. So? Well, customs didn't know about it. And about a uh, week after you last customs hit, got them all cold. <laughs> I'm luckier than you think. Yeah, well, you pass the stuff, too? Yeah. Well, guy's got to make a living. Look, uh, I've heard from the smart people that uh, little stuff could be handled through here. You do the right guy. Honor amongst yeah, maybe. Beats. Tell you what, it's going to be an after-hours party tomorrow night. A big party, party for the ex-con partner, Scully. Scully, coming back. They fall in love, or is it the tech he pays the tickets? That looks like David Putty from uh, Seinfeld. That's David Putty, the incarnation. What's that a commotion? Is that Connie in the cornfield? I met Connie in the cornfield. You're dancing all night, that's what. With or without tickets? With tickets. Well, with what's tickets. Wrong with that? Tickets he made himself. He only bought three from me. What's he doing with all those tickets? What are you doing? Going to competition? 
No, no, I figured this out all by myself. From uh, Rosie here, I got to pay 12 cents a ticket. I spent it myself, it just cost me four. You see, I paid uh, uh, eight cents a ticket. Go on, Rose. Give me a gin and orange juice. This is so funny. Maybe you've had enough. Maybe you can't hear so well, huh? Look at that. She's got the 666 with the right hand. She had a 666 in the free in the devil horn going. And pe people pointing is Freemasonry too. Go over and tell her she's had enough. She's cool. He it's her name Wilma. Oh, this is so funny for fake violence. They send the toothpick of a woman against. You tell that department store That's Dennis. Courtney Love. If he has any orders for me, That's the reincarnation. Courtney Love. Only telling you what he said. That's co who Courtney Love was. Don't give me any of your lip, stupid. I did a cover song of uh, Courtney Love. I thought it ended up quite well. I'm quite surprised it didn't go viral. Oh, the fake karate chops to the shoulder. Oh. And he's like, cat fight. That's Lenny Bruce saying, have the guy, like a guy would just want to watch it. The fate, the karate. Oh, that karate chop knocked her out. That's what happened. She's like, you want a piece of this? And that's like, uh, totally fake. Her hair, the fake fighting. Lenny Bruce could have been a regular on a Saturday Night Live type skit show, but never. The warehouse. It's foreboding music, but it's satire. There's it's all making fun of the film noir. It's a comedy. Sure you weren't followed? Positive. Well, we didn't think you'd be making contact so soon. What's up? Johnny's your boy, all right. I met a little fella that remembered me from another job. I speak. Uh, he doesn't realize I knocked over the ship he was on when he met me. Lucky for me, he seems to be one of the gang. Only Scally is your boy. Uh, have you had anything definite yet? <laughs> you no. some shadows a for party Bill Noor. I that. think that's when Lenny making fun. Of, he's saying, let's have these big, stupid time, time shadows. And look, at them. we're going to have a special squad of city police standing by. Just in case you feel that we can pull the driest toast. I'll be on 24 hour watch until this thing is closed. There are okay. dimensions to this movie. Back. It should have got the Academy Award for satire, comedy. I'm updating my rating. This should get a 10 out of 10. This is perfection for cinema. That smile, Lenny was like, here you go, bud. I'll help you. We're respectable, boss. How am I doing, boss? My first uh, real acting role there. Or not acting, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Stay late. Yeah, boss. Remember, nobody's the party here tonight. Either the girls or the city customers we can trust. Yeah, boss. He says, yeah, boss, to everything. Don't any trouble tonight. Yeah, boss. Did you hire all the bartender's aprons? Yeah, boss. Did you put the cat out? Sorry, the volume yeah, sucks. Put the cat out? Yeah, Did boss. Did you put the cat in? Did you put the cat in? Whoa! Well, which is it, in or out? <laughs> <laughs> Buzz. Hung up there. This is the most crazy story. It's about a space guy comes down on a beam. Forget the it? beam. Are you sure everything's right for the party? Trying to change the sure, subject. Sure, I'm sure. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Right, so I, I killed the guy. I some guy for the party tomorrow night. I used to know him in the merchant. Well, that, that makes me a criminal. What's his name? Uh, Edson. He's the right guy. Besides, this guy's coming up from the Orient to bring us some, some good stuff. Thanks, Joe, Stupid right? Vinny falling for the... Turn this whole place over to you to run. Narcotics the agent. Cut. The and customs agent, the sir. Hey. I think he's making fun I'm of to be all those go into movies. Uh, bringing in the, turn this place down if the I tax it? man became the no, arrows. That Maybe that's the point of Don't get greedy, then. Customs. Not very healthy. It's just some stupid, simple plot. Can I come in and talk to so him in a minute, So this is a Lenny uh, joke. He's saying, I was thinking how easy it would be to write out a film. Sure about? Yeah. That depends. On uh, what? Well, all he need would be that nice. Yet. Well. So? I want to get married. And you want nice me to pick once party. out. 
No. It's just that he wants me to get out of the racket. The and, racket? Uh, the fellow will give me a job in the I've been vindicated. And uh, I'd like to get through with things here. Yeah. Yeah, sure, Ice Pick. Yeah, sure, Ice Pick. You can go. I'll even send you a wedding present. That didn't sound right. Gee, thanks, boss. Gee, thanks. I didn't know it would be this easy. Just remember to keep your mouth shut or you'll find out how hard it can get. Remember? I'll remember, boss. Maybe I'm just no good. The drunks. I'm just no good at all. In fact, I'm lousy. The old John yeah, with the lousy, old huh? prostitute. Oh, yes, I am. All right, so you're lousy. Who are you calling lousy? That's a joke. That's right. He's like, oh, sorry about that. That's what I am. Why do you think you're lousy? Because I'm a phony. That's what, I'm a fish. I'm a phony, I'm a I ain't fake. really good looking at all. No. No, I'm bald. She's a good listener. Leave me my hair and all. Oh, that's all right, honey. I still think you're nice. Hawaii. <laughs> and she had that fun. So that's where Lenny got his. When he makes that, the faces, that weird smile Lenny had. I get that smile. Too big. My eyes get kind of start to close up a little bit. Squinty. Guess if you're really big, you can squint. And then out of the corner of your eye, you can read the teleprompter. He's kind of cute. Ice pick is cute. Well, he's kind of quiet. He never tries anything. Don't you know he's bashful? No, but your eye can stare at him. The woman in the back. She's supposed to be like Jane Harlow. Jean Harlow. Come on, girls, the customers coming She in. has a big role in this coming up. There's that woman I thought she looked Polynesian or oh, Tahitian. Yeah. That type of area of the world. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, but there is. Try it again. Ice pick is the Joe Pesci. There's nothing wrong with it. Yes, try again. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Well, it just doesn't seem to work for me. Try it from the front. All right. Come on, will ya? But, honey, you're such a dreamboat. I'm gonna go for you. Yeah, I know, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. He's like, I know. Of course. That's Just funny. Remember. Lenny Bruce was very funny. I don't know Your how open, anyone could shut. think he isn't Hi. funny. Sure thing, boss. Sure thing, boss. Don't have to worry. <laughs> yeah. I told you everything was all right. Yeah, uh, you weren't kidding when you said I could leave, were you? No. I meant it. Well, I mean, like, uh, can I leave right now? Tonight? Before the party? Well... Yeah, yeah, you can go. Finney and Bert can handle things here. I guess you're anxious to get things started with the factory. He appreciates yeah, yeah. Ice, factory. ice Pick's work over the years. Thanks, boss. So long, Ice Pick. Oh, Ice Pick. He hates to lose, Ice Pick. No, Ice it's Pick. A bonus to show you that I appreciate some of the things you helped us with around here. Skim them. To, this is to shut him up. He doesn't. He he's a thief with a. He, this guy you. wants to be a big society man. That's why he flipped out when uh, his girlfriend talked up about how he doesn't. He doesn't go to the PTA meetings. He's, he's like, I'll be part of the society. How would you like to go to Hawaii, do you? Well, I, I don't think I have enough dough. Then you cut the bag. Is that David well, Putty or what? I like you too. Well, it was a rough city, but a mighty fine skipper.
Eddie Haskell. Oh no, this is a different guy. That's not the cop undercover. It's all good. Look at how he greased up his hair. What can I do for you? Are you Scally? It's me. I lost 800 bucks of your little establishment, and I want it found. Quick. So how would I know anything about it? Don't give me any of your old routines, Callie. I came in here about two hours ago with 800 bucks in my jeans. Spent about 20 on drinks and 20 on a girl. That leaves a lot of money to be accounted for. No. I think you're the guy that can account for it. No. Now, how long do you think I could stay in business if I operated that way? I don't know, but I know how long you're going to stay in business unless I get my dough back. Oh, Vincent, can you come here a minute? The cheap set. I'll see what I can do for you. <laughs> Fifteen minutes left of this. Now, which girl did you spend the most time with? Oh, I spent with a couple of them. There's one little one I spent most of my time with. The Harlow. Or Lois or something. What's the trouble, boy? Gene Harlow. This gentleman thinks he's been robbed. Says if he doesn't get his money back, he's gonna close me down. I think maybe you'd better handle a complaint, Vincent. Yeah, but uh, maybe I think you're right there. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you're gonna close us down, huh? <laughs> he just oh. like kills him like it's no big deal. The right. knife. Did he... Bring Lois in here. It's, 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 it's like a joke. This whole show is like just one well, no, you look skit that goes around. You look pretty blue. What's the matter, honey? Don't you feel well? Oh, why should I burden you with my problems? Well, what are friends for? But I hardly know you. I feel that I've known you forever. Now, come on. Tell me. What's the trouble? Oh, I wouldn't want you to give you a sad story or anything. What do I look like, a sucker? <laughs> I know an honest face when I see one. Oh, thank you. You see, it's my mother. It's all about scamming. I've been working and slaving and on another job days. But the operation what, cost do I look $500. Like a sucker? I've only saved up $430. I need $70 more This could be a movie to watch There's over and over again to pick up on all the subtleties and the nuances. And he leaves nuances. for New York next week. If I don't give him the money by then, my mother may be dead when he gets back. Oh, honey, you ain't crying over lousy 70 bucks. Look it. The I'll lousy shadows. I haven't got the money on me That's now. That's got to be deliberate. When I come in tomorrow night, I'll bring it, okay? It's like, that won't be soon early. enough. I'll go home I'll go right now. now and get oh, you money. Don't go away. Stay right here. I'll be right back. She's like, she's like that was easy. Then she has that what look on her face like a hat. Get rid of that paper. Guys. Now watch about Just this thing. Drink, about away. How it resolves. Get rid of that paper. Okay. So there's a literary value to the value for value to this movie. Come in. How it develops and continues. If you think this has value, how come you take me away from my best customer? Please hit the okay, light, uh, hit the words. thumbs up, subscribe. Build up, pad my stats Lois, so that the info shills break mm -hmm. out even more nice than they team. are right sure. now. Whoa! Then why don't you be nice to me? Hey, what was that for? His problem the room. Room is in that she stole the money. You make a score, you get 60%. The house gets His problem 20. is that she tried to hide the money. I know you know. But I didn't see any money. It's being cruel, but it's all fake. Lois, I didn't see any money. I didn't make any. It's obviously fake. Like right there, that kick. Stand up, Lois. That's a, that's okay, Vincent. She said enough. Then he throws. Why do you? That couldn't have hurt. That thrown her into the chair. I know you made the score. 
Now are you going to turn it over? We it's funny at the end. She goes, Mom, how'd you know? Back in his scarf. She had no problem with this. So it's over the top. Your knife. Yeah, I it's so. over the top. They get the knife out again. I don't know. Maybe it's in a throat. Start the search. The part, joke Vincent. about they hide the money in McGrath. So Lenny Bruce, comedic genius, put together Here, this Lois. instant classic that no been one knows if about. Been for the collection cost. Don't worry. Next time I'll come to you. See, it just, can't it wraps up differently. There's not much goes on around here I don't know about. See, I run this place like a department store. The if department you store. The department store, you wouldn't expect to keep all the money you made when you sold something, would you? This babe would, boss. The big you know, woman at the bar called him a department store. Off. See you tomorrow night. There's so much going on. This whole, uh, Hawaii, Hawaii's being moved. Hey, hey, does anyone have a little privacy around here? Sorry, the tree's busy tonight. Oh, I see. The tree's too busy. I like the way you get away. Maybe I'm getting the Gene Harlow's confused. Can I have a glass of carbonated water, please? Yeah, sure. Oh, this guy. He clearly has autism. I don't look... I don't... I'm not, like... I can pass for regular... Yeah, and I've seen guy. you here before. I wouldn't be surprised. This I guy... He's making yeah, no man, eye contact. You, tell me about. you come in here every night, buy a dollar worth stoic. of tickets. You never dance with anybody. What are you gonna do with I can be tickets? more like that bartender and put on a whole fake smile. Counting tonight. Although I don't put on hmm, fake smiles, I just send myself. What do you think you're gonna do with all them tickets? But I, I really am know? also well, stone-faced. I'm not. I'm gonna save them up, see? This guy's so acting like an incel. Lock, stock, and barrel for one night. And I'm not gonna let anybody else come up here. Well, the bartender has that cool Fonzie all by myself, type all identity. What a beautiful thought. Kind of poetic somehow. You know, they can tell I have want to, nerdish but I like tendencies, you. but I never you know, came across big. as a nerd. You know what I mean? You the think big. Aspie yeah, I think big. Type part of that. And you know, I'm gonna make a trip Sheldon. I never acted Every like that guy Sheldon. I would be more like the guy with the glasses, but he, uh, Every the guy who was on Roseanne, but I found him kind of dry, so I'm a little more. A little more outgoing. I thought someone was at the door. I was going to pause this. It's kind of a little bit, uh, this is my own thing here going online. Interacting. Sharing. Look at Pretty Back. Peeping Tom. So this guy went from innocent nerd to creepy stalker. Moments like this probably. Give Lenny the bad reviews. They'll say like, "Well, why is he? Why can't he pick a side? Either be a comedy or be a film norm." It's like you had to play team sports. Why isn't he playing the team sports? Did I just miss some side midriff? Well, what do we have here? The original Peeping Tom. I never did this before, honest. Well, this is one time you shouldn't have done it at all. I won't do it again, I, I promise. I'll say you won't. Wait, I tell Mr. Scully. You don't have to tell him. Uh, I won't do it again. Can't you just let it go at that? Do you have any money on you? No, but I've got some tickets. Oh, yeah, now I remember you. You have hundreds of tickets. Give me tickets. All my tickets that I've been saving? Shall I call Mr. Skelly? No, no, don't do that. He won't let me come up here anymore. Well, what's the argument? Give me the tickets. But I don't have them with me right now. Well, give me what you have and bring the rest to my All right, if I have to. The insult. Shall I let Mr. Skelly decide that? No, no, here, here's the tickets. Hey, now I'll never get to go to Hawaii. The insults oh, just clear. have to uh, date shy women. Or... 
just be confident enough. Maybe extrovert woman right, is into the shy guy. Get off the vinyl will be there in a minute. His name is Victor Pat. Vice versa, if you're just shy, you can ask me. Federal woman. Canon, we want to show him a real welcome home. Show him a good time. Remember that guy had hard grip saying he must be doing coke. Here he is, his ex. They want his money that he hid. Hello, I wrote, Victor. We're How approaching the big Welcome finish. The There's about place. six minutes Here, left. Sit down. In Join the movie. festivity. That drunk guy, the guy who plays the drunk from uh, Why doesn't Scandinavia. Well, he knows what it is. He puts on an Andy Cotton style dance. It's so funny. It. It and his cool. singing. It's just like but something Andy Crockett stole from him. From this. I came up with some new stuff over the years. I have a little surprise for you, Victor. Just get Nenek stolen. All original stuff. Remember how you used to like Because I went through a life. I went through study. Okay, boys. I went through development just like anyone else. That must be Lenny's mom. Burlesque. She's a comedian. And alcohol screws up the face, too. I used to drink a little bit, in Ar a lot of it, in Ireland. I'm glad I quit alcohol. I'm glad I didn't become an alcoholic. It's dangerous. I never got into cocaine. I'm not going to give any history on the drugs. Here's to Victor Truggies, who spent 11 years in stir for a homecoming present. A little gift like marijuana. Rosie. Making fun of the, the doll, the film. No, I'm saying this guy can't talk. Yeah. Somebody cut his tongue out. Yeah. But he can still use his hands. Check that out. So when he pushes this guy to the floor, and it's just natural that that happened. No one's surprised. So that show The Sopranos probably stole from this. Uh, Ray Donovan stole. From okay, Bunchy, it's your turn. Let's get with the Bunchy, Bunchy from uh, Ray Donovan. This is it. This gets so funny. to take your all a little trip, ladies and gentlemen. And now I like to do my this version of Andy the Kaufman did Northland. something like this. So Andy Kaufman basically stole this from this guy. Good job, Andy Kaufman, stealing. People shouldn't steal. People should steal nothing from nobody. That's what I say. That's what I say. Vincent, Lenny's getting upset. He's got that thought in his head about wise rose all over. So he's mad right now. We, there's only a few minutes left in the movie. The the party. How can I this movie end, end in two and a half minutes? What's going to happen in two and a half you know, minutes? You know, the nice little party, Pappas and Rose, the thing you fixed up there. That escalated quickly. Now, now Vincent, sorry, don't do anything boy, crazy. Sorry, why should we start bumping you up? I'd have Rose That's in this nice. place. You can have Rose. It was only a gag, anyhow. Oh, that was a funny gag. I'm hysterical. I'm hysterical, Miss Nuff Gally. You know, you can't get the dough from Papa unless he tells you where it is. What are you worrying about, Mrs. Scal? You don't think I'd kill you, do you? <laughs> Escalated quickly. 
What, he grabs no, this guy? I think he's making fun of that James Cagney movie, but I'm not sure. Maybe this came... Maybe the James Cagney uh, movie stole from this. I bet a lot of people saw this movie back in the day. Any asshole? The guy might have had his tongue uh, ripped out. But he can still think. Jacket trick. And the gangster. And then the theatrical. Like, that's comedy right there, the way he stretches up the arms. Some story. It's the rich well, man's um, Edward Jones. And, and, and then the big funny the ending. Well, the dance Bert's hall, what happened? Well, uh, is he running it now? Bird. Oh, it all right, right now. Bird. Bird. This time he'll probably slip. We'll be doing the whole thing over again. What a thing! Just a ring around the rosies. His customs keeps going all the time. Ring Thank around, Rose. Story, I'm sure we got enough. That's okay. Okay, good movie. That's a wrap. And then it ends. You don't even get the end credits. What a rip off. And it, the Louis Prima guy again. Dun, dun, see, it just ended. So it was a scant racket scam of an ending. Lenny Bruce got ripped off. Alright, now, what I'll do, that'll end my obligation for live speech, for live unedited speech that I speak from my brain out into space, time and space, or maybe I'll do a show in the future about how there's no time. Alright, I'll, I'll just give it away right here, how there's no time. There's no time, but they used to think everything broke down at atoms, the atom, but then they figured out that it actually keeps breaking down. It's almost, it's probably infinite. How something can be broken down. For thought exercises, things can be broken down in, in, uh, indefinitely, in, 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 for infinity. Say you go, you keep going half the steps forward. Um, well, no. Yeah, you just keep lowering the space that one's going forward, and then from A to B, you'll never get to B. You, uh, go halfway, and that's the new point, and then go halfway again. The new point becomes A, and then the B is always the next point. You'll never reach B. So in that respect... The same applies to time. There's no moment. Moment. Uh, a second is has a definition. Ten seconds, uh, days, months, years. Everything has a definition. The definition is never the thing. We learn that from philosophy. The word is never the thing. There's no moment. If there's a moment, it's gone as soon as it appeared. So the only thing we ever had is change that can't be timed. We know that we're limited in mind. We're so limited in mind that we've allowed ourselves to become managed, programmed, conditioned. 
the speaker says, think these things out for yourselves. Watch those shows, watch their eyes. Eventually try to stop watching the shows. Try to understand why they're doing that and why we shouldn't watch. Seek freedom. Read true thinkers. Read true historians, philosophers, sociologists, psychologists, thinkers, people who wrote, wrote fiction. Listen. Seek sincerity. Seek authenticity. To end this, I'm just going to add on my rendition of uh, Louis Prima with the, with the woman. So I do both parts and stuff. I thought it came out pretty good. I've quit singing as a special interest, but I did come up with a lot of uh, songs, cover songs. I would listen to stuff over and over. It's a long story as to my knowledge of music. But it turns out that I can sing in tune and I can mimic. So, uh, thanks for your time. I hope ye all enjoyed Dance Racket All Spam. Written, produced, direct. I don't think he directed it or he produced, but um, written by Lenny Bruce and acted by Lenny Bruce. Maybe he did direct it, I forget. And I tend to mail this stuff in. So that's that. Here's Louis Prima and What's Her Face. Thank you. Take care. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you in advance. Thank you very much in advance. I'm just a gigolo. Everywhere I go. Gigolo. People know the art I'm playing. Gigolo. Gigolo. Paid for every dance. Gigolo. So in each romance. Gigolo. Ooh, what they're saying There will come a day And youth will pass away What, what will they say about me When the end comes I know Is it just a jiggle Life goes on without me I'm just a jiggle Everywhere I go People know the part I'm playing Pay for every dance, selling each romance. Oh, what they're saying. And there will come a day, and youth will pass away. What will they say about me? When the end comes, I know it's a just a juggle. Life goes on without me, cause I ain't got nobody. Oh, and there's nobody that cares for me. There's nobody that cares for me. I'm so sad and lonely. Sad and lonely, sad and lonely. Won't some sweet mama come and take a chance with me? Cause I ain't so bad. Sing on Pretty love song. All of the time. She won't be. Only be. Hey, give it. Bubba da. Sop of the bar. I ain't got nobody. Oh, and there's nobody. Cares for me. There's nobody that cares for me. Nobody cares for me. Nobody that cares for me.